this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's A Wonderful World! And today is going to be a very exciting episode because we are battling a brand new boss uh, that I've never seen before, and that boss is called uh, Duke Fishron. I do believe. <laughs> and in the last episode, if you saw it, I got this little gooey thing, which is a, a truffle worm. And uh, yeah, I need to use that and my equally disgusting looking uh, fishing rod uh, yeah, to hopefully spawn this thing in. I have been making a collection in here of water walking potions. Pretty much since I started the game, I keep getting a whole load of, uh, of water walking potions. And I've never done anything with them because I've never just bothered to, to really use them. I think I might have tested them out once. And that was literally it. But now is going to finally be the time where actually using a, a water walking potion uh, might be a good idea. So I'm actually I'm going to I'm going to go and move um, my magic mirror out of the way so I don't accidentally magic mirror away anywhere during the, the battle because uh, I have done that before. <laughs> accidentally magic mirrored away. So yeah, I got water walking potions. I got a night owl potion, which I probably won't need because I'm going to be battling it in the day probably and some iron skin potions. Would that be enough? Is that, is that enough? It doesn't feel like that's enough potions. I normally have more potions than that. Uh, let's grab a uh, restoration potion as well, just for good measure. And I think we're good. I think we're we're ready to, to go into, into battle then. So, uh, yeah, let's go and head to the, uh, the ocean. So, uh, in the last episode, I also hopefully saved my ocean. The, uh, the, the corruption has been gradually spreading closer and closer. And you know what? I'm going to use that um, that night owl potion right now. As uh, soon as it's uh, night time as we uh, head over there. Uh, yeah, it's just going to allow me to, to see a little bit better. I don't have any shine potions, but uh, I reckon by the time the uh, the battle starts, it's going to be just about becoming daytime anyway. If I've timed this correctly as I planned, I reckon it's going to be just about becoming daytime anyway. So yeah, this should be the, the perfect time to battle. I'm hoping I don't need to spawn it at night, actually. Would that be annoying? Because a lot of the, um, the bosses, you need to, to spawn at night. I don't think this is one of them. Hopefully it isn't one of them because if it is then this is literally the worst time to, to be trying to, to spawn it in. So uh, as always uh, I know very little about the, uh, the boss as I'm going into it. I don't know if I'm going to defeat it first time. The good thing though is that it's not very difficult to, to spawn. Like getting the, the truffle worm can be a little bit difficult but you know I got it first try. You know, every time I battle Orc Ram, I need to make like two mechanical uh, eyes, I need to make a mechanical skull, I need to get all of the souls of light and the souls of night and all of the eye, you know, I need to get a whole bunch of stuff. But for this, I just need to go and catch a worm. So even if I do fail, I'm just not going to care that much because, you know, I know that I can very easily uh, go and battle it again. So if I do beat it, then jolly good. Well done me. Pat on the back to myself. <laughs> if I don't, then I don't care too much because I feel like I'm just gaining knowledge ready for the uh, the next battle, uh, which I'm going to, to consider as the uh, the real one. Uh, so what I do want to do uh, is I do want to, to wait for it to become um, uh, properly daytime before I try and spawn it. Because then that way, if I do have to battle it at night time, then it just won't spawn and I'll know. But what would be the worst thing to do would be to spawn it right now. It spawns in because it's night time and then it immediately disappears because it becomes day and all. This might be a problem actually because we're right on the uh, the edge of the uh, the corruption. This might be um this might be back. So there might be a bunch of corruption enemies spawning. Let's check on there. Let's check on progress on stopping the corruption spawning. Let's make sure nothing spread uh, into to this area here. So there's all the corruption there, but this should all hopefully uh, be nicely blocked off. I think we're okay. I think we actually, even though we did it quite quickly, uh, did a pretty decent job uh, of blocking off all of the, the corruption. The only bit that scares me is that big dark patch. Like if you look down here, there's like a, a giant dark patch down here where I just can't see. I just don't know if there's uh, any corruption there. So uh, what it might be worth doing, uh, seeing as I'm waiting for a little bit now for it to become daytime anyway, uh, is kind of just digging down this way. Uh, just uh, not necessarily to do anything, just so I can see, uh, just to make sure that there's no there's no little patches of, uh, of corruption hiding here. Uh, because if there is, uh, then they could spread to the, the ocean biome and, well... Goodbye, ocean biome. No more Duke fish runs for old Stampy Cat. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's dig through here. I mean, it's looking, it's looking okay. Like I kind of just want to be able to, uh, to, to see enough of it, uh, just to, to make sure that there's nothing too awful down here. And uh, let's have a, a quick look. It's, lo it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good to be honest. And I think it has uh, probably just about uh, become daytime now. Uh, so yeah, let's go up to the uh, the surface. Uh, let's go and. Um, have my water walking potions and kind of check them out. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, let's go and uh, have a, a go trying to, to battle him. I'm feeling quietly positive. 
And the only reason for that is because last time I tried to uh, to, to battle um, Okram, who is supposed to be one of the, the hardest bosses in the game, uh, I didn't struggle too much. I actually did it uh, relatively easily. And so I'm assuming that there's no way uh, that this guy's going to be any tougher. So that water walking uh, potion is going to last five minutes. I can have my iron skin potion as well. Uh, let's kind of go right to the uh, the back of the, the ocean biome. How big is it? It's pretty big. And then, yeah, let's try and use this. And uh, let's see if it goes and, uh, and spawns in. Hopefully, I've done everything uh, done everything correctly. It's not using up the, the bait. I guess do I just wait? It's a little bit weird fishing when I'm in the, the ocean. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's not very big. Oh, it's not that big. Right, let's go and use the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, these, um... Uh, the Nimbus Cloud, shall we? And oh, it's hurt me! Look at that damage it's done to me already. Right, let's go and uh, let's go and use this. Oh no! Oh no! No no! Okay, I'm really hurt. Why? Why am I so hurt? I just used another Iron Skin potion. I didn't mean to do that. Why was I quietly confident? Why was I confident? Right, I need to move. I was standing still too much. I need to get my speed. Oh no! There's like um, there's like um, tornado thingies in the water. Oh! <laughs> well, well, well. Okay then. Right. <laughs> and there I was! There I was! Mr. Stampy Cat saying, oh well, I'm quite quietly positive. Surely it can't be more dangerous to battle than Okram. You know what? Apparently it is. Apparently it is more difficult to, to battle than Okram. Right. Okay. I think this calls for a change of strategy. Alright, kind of running in blind wasn't a good thing to, to do. So, I got a little bit of knowledge. I learned it's not very big. Okay, it's something that I learned. I learned it deals a lot of damage. It really hurt me. Like, really hurt me there, didn't it? It really just hit me a few times, and I was already down to, to less than half health. So, that's a worry. So, what I think I need is a few of these, a few bonfires, and a few of, uh, of these as well. And I'm going to build a platform over the ocean biome. So the water walking potion was nice, but of course I can't place down uh, any of these things on it. So I want to grab a few of these, and there's also the um, the heart statue as well. Do you remember that? It's not here at the uh, the moment, uh, only because um, uh, it's down it's down in like my my underground battle arena where I battled the uh, the Plantera and uh, Orkram last time. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to go and uh, bring that up here as well. So that's going to allow me to, to get my health up. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I feel like it will make a big difference. Because if you don't know, so the bonfires and these uh, uh, these little heart lantern things, they basically allow my health to regenerate quicker. And so that should hopefully uh, help sort out my uh, getting hurt dilemma. Uh, because the, the health should start going up. But I need to work out what the best weapons are going to be uh, to attack it. Because it moves fast. It moves really fast. So I think using something like the um, the Mega Shark will be quite difficult. Because you've got to aim really accurately. And if it's moving really quickly, it might be quite difficult to, to hit it. Something that I could use. What were the bullets? Were they the um, the Chlorophyte bullets? The, the ones that locked on? They might be pretty effective. That might be a good thing to, to use uh, against it. Uh, might be able to uh, yeah help me uh, out because I don't need to aim too much of that. And they deal a lot of damage as well. They are expensive to make because I do have to, to use up uh, quite a lot of the, the ore. But they might be worth it in the, the long run. The Nimbus Cloud should be able to help me out a little bit uh, as well. Uh, so that might be something to, to play around with. You know, maybe just to, to kind of throw it up at the, the beginning of the, the battle like uh, uh, like I normally do. So if it does go under it, it's doing some, uh, some damage. And then apart from that, what do you reckon? Like, I don't know whether it deals most of its damage when it gets close to you or whether it's at range. If it does it at range, kind of running in with the True Knight's Edge, it's probably going to be just the quickest way to deal loads of damage. Uh, so yeah, I might have to do a, a few experimentations. So as I said, getting Truffle Worms won't be difficult. What I can probably do uh, is in between episodes, uh, just go and get a, a whole load of, uh, of truffle, worm, uh, truffle worms and uh, just kind of get them all uh, ready. And then that way, I can come down here and uh, and just kind of keep spawning him in again and again and again and kind of just keep, hopefully every time I do it, just learning a little bit more and getting it a little bit better uh, until I'm eventually able to hopefully uh, end up uh, end up defeating him. So I'm grabbing a bunch of uh, this wood here uh, just so I can make some platforms. Because uh, if I make some, uh, some platforms, uh, then that way I can build this kind of over the, the water 
water and that might be a good way to, to battle him. So let's use the, the water walking potion for now uh, while I go and craft some of these platforms. And I can't remember, do I need a... um. Do I need a workbench to make the platforms? I don't think I do. No, I don't. So yeah, let's go and uh, make a, a whole load of these. And kind of let's just try and stretch these out uh, along the uh, along the entire ocean. And then this is going to be a great place to leave my uh, my bonfires and my heart uh, lanterns. I don't know why I was so confident. I mean, I know that I battled Orkram, but I made like, I got a lot more potions, I kind of planned everything, I had practice, you know, I don't know why I just kind of expected to, to go in and just win so easily. So uh, hopefully, with just this small amount of preparation, uh, next go, I'm going to have a, a, a yeah, have a, a better chance of actually being able to, to defeat it. So let's stretch this entire way uh, across here. I probably should have gone and got the, uh, the heart statue before I arrived here, so I could put that down. Because basically the way the heart statue works is if I put a pressure plate near it, uh, every time I run past it, it's just going to pop out a heart, and it's a really good way just to, to replenish your health uh, really quickly. It was those, um those whirlpool things. What are they called? What are the, the water tornadoes called? Are they called tornadoes? Water tornado? I don't know what they're called. But yeah, that, they look scary. I don't know how much damage they were going to do, but they basically kind of blocked off my area. They made it really difficult uh, for me to, to kind of run in one direction. Uh, so that might be uh, something to, to worry about. All right, then that's that built all the way to the, the end there. I got a few of these bonfires and a few of these heart lanterns. So the good things about these is I can kind of put the, the bonfires on the, the top of them and then the, uh, the heart lanterns underneath them. And then that kind of covers the the entire area and these also stack as well and what i mean by that is that it basically allows you to kind of increase it even more so it's not like they they kind of counterbalance each other i know oh yeah you can't hang them on these can you let's um put some little blocks uh, under underneath. Can I place a block there? And then put the heart lantern on them. There we go. It's a little bit ugly, <laughs> but that's okay. So I probably won't leave the uh, uh, the ocean uh, biome completely like this the entire time, uh, just because, you know, I am making a little bit of a, of a mess of it. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully this is going to, to help me out quite a lot. So I'm going to spread these out a little bit more because uh, I don't have uh, as many of them. And then yeah, let's go into Magic Mirror back home and uh, let's go and get the, the, the heart lantern and uh, uh, possibly if we have time, uh, get myself uh, another truffle worm today. I still can't believe that battle. Like, like I wasn't sure that I was going to win first time. It's not like I was thinking, right, I'm going to go and defeat it, and then that's going to be that. You know, I knew there might be some trouble, just because I really didn't know, you know, what its attacks were. But I thought I was at least going to last in the battle a little bit longer than that. <laughs> at least I thought I was going to get a little bit more time to, to actually be able to, to see it properly. <laughs> right then, let's go down and get that heart statue and maybe get a, another truffle worm. And then I'm going to be all set up ready for the uh, the next attempt. Well, it'd be good to get, as I said, a few truffle worms. Because then I can kind of just battle him back and forth. You know, I don't want to go and battle him, get defeated, go get a truffle worm, and, you know, keep going back and forth. It'd be good just to, to get a whole bunch of them. Also, I don't really mention it, but I've kind of blocked off this area. I like this battle arena so much and the corruption was really spreading. I've kind of dug all the way around here to hopefully uh, project, uh, protect this entire area. Uh, so yeah, nothing uh, too deadly should uh, start spreading uh, into here is the uh, uh, is the uh, the plan. So I can battle the Plantera more down here and when I want to battle the Okram again, uh, yeah, this place isn't going to be filled with all of uh, corruption googlies. All right then. And let's go and take out some of these guys. And uh, let's go and grab you and grab you. I can use the ammo box as well. I don't know how much I'm going to, to use that. I don't care too much about the bonfires, but some of these um uh, these heart lanterns, it might be worth grabbing some uh, of these. I'm just going to kind of try and ignore the enemies for now <laughs> and just take all the, the damage. because so I'm going to be magic mirroring out of here in just one second. Anyway, uh, it shouldn't matter uh, too much anyway. So let's go and fly up here. There's uh, uh, some more heart lanterns uh, around here. I'm not going to uh, worry about adding like loads of pressure plates. I I think just a few of them will uh, will be able to, to do me quite fine. So yeah, let's go and grab some of them. Let me go and grab this one here. And there we go. I can go and magic mirror out of here. And there we go. I kind of just didn't even take out anything. And I've only just really uh, noticed. I think I might have noticed it before, but I haven't really thought about it. But the, um, the critters... Like the bugs and things like that, they really only um they really only spawn when I am actually holding the the bug net. So as far as I know, there's there's been like um a bunch of uh of the 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 truffle worms before, but I probably just haven't really noticed them because you can't really spot them uh, unless you have the uh, the bug net. So uh, yeah, now I'm kind of going down to that uh, mush uh, m underground mushroom biome. I should be able to get them much easier. So yeah, let's go and grab a few more of these uh, heart lanterns. I'll probably end up putting them back here in the uh, the future uh, for fighting more 
more uh, bosses around here. But yeah, uh, by the looks of things, I need um, <laughs> I need as much help as I can get battling this guy because he was he was tough and up. Oh, okay, that's an arch wyvern. This is a uh, this isn't something to to laugh at. Luckily, the uh, the Nimbus clouds are amazing for destroying these guys. Look, if I kind of stay under here, like that Nimbus cloud is like doing non-stop damage against them. I could probably like almost ignore him for now, and that's gonna take him out. Actually, I do want to be careful because it is doing a lot of damage. Why am I failing so much today? Why am I being too confident and then ending up getting uh, destroyed? Let's go and grab the, uh, uh, yeah, a few sort of those souls of flight. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to mess around with those arch ones. The normal wyvern, not wyverns, the normal, um, whatever they're called, <laughs> aren't too tough. But yeah, those arch ones, they're, they're pretty deadly. All right, then let's, uh, let's go and keep running this way. I think I've got enough of the, um, uh, the bonfires and the, the heart lanterns. So yeah, let's go and get all of this set uh, down and maybe put some torches around there as well just to, to light up the, the area uh, just in case I do end up battling it at night. And then yeah, I think we're all set to go and have a, another go uh, in the, the next episode. As always... Give me some help. As you can see, I'm a little bit helpless in this game. If you have played Terraria yourself and uh, played it more than me, uh, please do uh, give me a, a little bit of advice and uh, help me out. Uh, like, don't spoil it. Like, please don't, like, tell me everything that I should do or, you know, like, um... You know, I, I don't want to know everything. I want to explore some stuff myself. Uh, but yeah, just uh, <laughs> if you want to give me just a little bit of a, of, of a tip for how to uh, to battle the uh, the Duke Fisher on next time. Uh, yeah, feel free to leave that as a comment down below. Like, I always see a lot of comments. And this happened right from when I uh, started Terraria to now. Where people are saying that I'm a noob or like they're better than me. They got better stuff. And like, how come I've been playing for years and I haven't even defeated this or haven't even got this yet? The reason is, is because I have been pl playing Terraria for years. But like... Only in little bits. It's not like I've, I've never sat down and played Terraria for like hours or something. Like, I normally only play the game when I'm recording. Uh, so that way, uh, you can kind of see everything that, uh, that I end up doing. So, you know, I play probably about like, I don't know, probably about like 20 minutes a week or something. You know, like I hardly... You know, I don't play often. I've just been playing for a, a very long time. And so for that reason, like, I kind of... I still haven't done things that I really should have completed. Like, friends of mine that kind of have been just playing Terraria for fun and not recording. You know, they've got way better stuff than uh, than me. Just because they've ultimately ended up playing more than me. So yeah, the reason why I'm still kind of learning all of this stuff and still don't know everything... Uh, yeah, it's just simply for that reason. Uh, just because I've been playing for a long time, but not playing often, I guess. And I realize I got way too many of these Heart Lanterns than I than I actually need. But uh, yeah, that's uh, better than not having uh, enough of them. So yeah, let's go and put these things down as well. So the ammo box uh, basically means um, uh, I have a chance to not use any ammo when shooting. It basically means that I can kind of get, get more bang for my buck to say, you know, I can kind of get more uh, damage done. Uh, so let's put that down there. And I can also put this here. So this can kind of be the, the main area I decide to, to hang around in. And uh, yeah, let's just go and spread around some, uh, some torches as well. Uh, in case I end up battling it at night, we don't want other stuff spawning. Oh, can I not put the torches? Uh, I could. There we go. I can put the uh, the torches on the uh, the side of these blocks here, and then that should keep the uh, the place nicely lit up. And the good thing is we didn't have uh, too many enemies from the uh, the corruption uh, showing up, which is uh, at least uh, a good thing. Uh, that was uh, something something that I was a little bit worried about, but didn't actually end up being a problem. And was that was that heart statue even working? I kind of ran over it, but I didn't seem to to see it um, uh, fire out at all. Let's make sure I put this right. Oh no, I want to put it right next to it. Do I need to? Do I need to add some wire? I think I might need to add just like the the tiniest bit of wire uh, right next to it. Uh, so it does actually go and set it off. I thought if I put it right next to it, uh, it would be able to, to set it off. Uh, but sadly, that doesn't seem to, to be the case. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a bunch more truffle worms. And then in the next episode, we're going to have round two against Duke Fish Run. And hopefully... I'm not going to do quite as pathetically. <laughs> uh, dear. Anyway, that is the end of this episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it despite my failure. And uh, also hopefully in the next episode, I'll be able to do at least a little bit better. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!